Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video we'll see how to make a security system or like home automation. So the first example is like a face detection based security system. So like when you click this green flag it will ask you to log in using the QR code. So this is basically the WhatsApp login. So like before you even run your application you have to go download the link application and you have to run it. So once you run your application then you click on this green flag and then it will show you this QR code. So once you like scan the QR code with your mobile phone uh, this will be marked as connected. So like after you click on your green flag this will show the QR code then turn on the video and then it would like start analyzing from camera continuously for any faces. So then it will like do in a forever loop it will check whether it is analyzing and it is connected to the WhatsApp. So like if both is true it will check like if any face has been detected and if any face has been detected it will capture an image from the camera and send it to the WhatsApp number which you want to send it. Uh, with a particular caption and then uh, most important like you have to put some delay otherwise like it will bombard your whatsapp with like hundreds of images so like after it sent one image just wait for two seconds and then again like check whether again some faces has, has been detected so again like send that image uh, every two seconds like if it is detecting any faces. So the another thing is like home automation using WhatsApp. So like before you even use this example you basically have to like install this course unblock extension in the Chrome and you have to enable it. So currently it's disabled uh, you can enable it by clicking. So this basically allows the TUI API to be used uh, with another domain which is like code school. So here also the same thing like you have to run the code link application. You have to download that link application from here and run it. So now when you click on this green flag it will ask you to log in via QR code. So it will show you a QR code and then you and then you will scan your uh, WhatsApp uh, based login QR code and then once it is uh, logged in another thing is you have to provide that uh, which to your server you want to connect for example in India you have India server then in China you have China server then in US or like globally you have that US server then you have to provide that uh, key access key and the secret key so from where do you get these things so i cannot go into much detail but basically you have to go to this iot.tuya.com and in the cloud section development you have to create an application and when you click on that application it will show you that access client id and the secret id so basically here you have to create that cloud project. So once your cloud project is created, it will give you that access ID and the secret key for that thing. In your service API, you need to make sure you have authorized all this particular APIs. And in your devices you can go to link to your app account and there you can actually link your uh, to your smart tap kind of thing. And in the all devices it will show you all the devices with their device ID. So this is basically not a to your course there are like many good videos on YouTube which talk about Tuya automation and like home automation and like home assistant. I will not go much detail into that but basically you need this key and ID 
and your devices need to be linked with that particular account then when you send a whatsapp message like from some number it will check whether the sender number is matches with this particular number and if that number matches then just turn on that to your device so like it is uh, currently only for like um, one relay kind of device similarly like when you receive some off message you check whether the sender is authorized and if the sender is authorized you just switch off the two way device the same goes for status so like when you receive a status message on your whatsapp account which is linked so basically this will check like who is the sender and if the sender matches with that configured number and if the sender is authorized it will like fetch the two way device state whether it is on or off and like it will send it back to the sender so using our code school extension you see how easy it is to design like security system which analyzes face and like send you real time detection reports on your whatsapp or like how to control devices using from your whatsapp so i hope you like this video thanks for watching and have a nice day